Today in the technology and business segment, we covered the Getting Business Online initiative, which is a program that's supported by Black Knight Solutions, the County Enterprise Boards, on Post and Google. So we're going to start by searching for the term Getting Business Online, which will find me the website, gettingbusinessonline.ie, and I can go ahead and open that website, then click on the Get Started button, and I can start registering my business online. The first thing we need to do is register a domain name or an online name for my business. So I'm going to call that down to business tech and I click find and the system will check if anybody else has registered that domain name. If they have, it's not the end of the world because you can choose a variation of perhaps a product name or add a location to your desired domain name. So in this case, no one has registered down to business tech. So I can go ahead and start using that as my preferred website name. Then I need to fill in some personal details and some business details and also a verification code which will be sent to my mobile phone as part of this registration process. So when I've done that, the system will present me with a window site builder details where I can fill in some very basic information about my website, the site name, a description and just some very basic text. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter some basic text about down to business on News Talk. And this is where you would put the name of your business and sort of the most basic or key information that would be displayed on the top of your web homepage. At this point, there's no need to think long and hard about the text that you're typing in about your business because you can change it in a few minutes time. You can come back and change it tomorrow, the following day, as many times as you want, which is the great flexibility about these sort of content management systems that you can use to run your website. When I finish typing the text, I click the next button and I'll be presented with a screen that allows me to choose the look or the initial theme of my website. So there's a variety of different shapes, colors, sizes and layouts. So I select one that I like, which is this one here. When I've decided on a look and feel or a theme for my website, I say select this theme. And this is the template that will be used on my website when I launch it initially. Again, don't forget, you can always come back and change it later. After I've selected a theme, I need to set some login details, which are the usual sort of username and password fields, which I fill in. And when I do that, I'll receive an email from Black Knight Solutions, which will allow me to sort of validate my account and log in and use the control panel and access my website again. So I then use this username and password that I created to log back into the system to edit or update my website on an ongoing basis. When you log back in, the first thing really that you should do is explore the menus and options that the system offers and discover a little bit about how the system works and the functionality that it offers. The first thing I'm going to do is upload some images that I can use on the website. Images are critically important on the web and you should upload some images that you can use across various pages of your website that display your products or your business or your location. After I've uploaded a couple of images, the next thing I'm going to do is type some very basic text for the home page. Text editor that the system uses is not unlike Microsoft Office or another word processor, so I can type in the text, I can format it, I can then add a link to the images that I want to display on the web. Click the insert button and it inserts the image for me and shows me how the text is laid out around it. In addition to just some header text, I also want some body text. So I've all gone ahead and prepared some text in Microsoft Word. I go over and copy that. I come back to the Getting Business Online website and paste that text in below the image. When I've done that, I can say, okay, that looks okay. I'll go ahead and preview that. And I hit the preview button and it shows me how the website would look. Notice that the title text is a little small, so I'd like the text getting down to business with Bobby Kerr to be a little bigger so that it grabs people's attention when they visit the page initially. So just like a word processor, I change the size of the text by highlighting it and selecting a different font size. After I've changed the size of the text, I can go ahead and click the preview button and have a look to see how the amendment appears on the web. That's our first web page created. When you start using the system, I suggest you play around with the menus and have a look at all the features and functionality that's offered. One of the links that you'll notice is Business Forum, which is the businessforum.ie website. This is a useful starting point for you because it has a number of articles about getting started and how to get the most out of the Getting Business Online website. Go to gettingbusinessonline.ie and download the useful guide and you should remember to have a look at your local county enterprise board website which will have information about any relevant upcoming courses. For podcasts or information about this segment you can go to newstalk.ie forward slash technology and business.